Look at you. Just, no, just look at me. Hey guys, it's Tina here. This is part two of my K-pop fashion try on haul. So let's jump right into it. Oh, this one has all these like cool embellishments on it. Okay. This actually has a very, very K-pop feel to it. Um, it is, um, it looks very extra to me, but this is a dress worn by Jisoo. And I think she wore it for like a photo shoot or something. It's like black and gold. It's got all these like gold rivets. I could totally picture like them on stage with this. Guys, this is the first time I've seen like a double zip in a dress. So that's like one zip, but there's another one. What was the purpose of that? I don't know, but that was like a double zip dress. Do I have this on properly? I think it feels kind of off. Anyways, so this dress, I feel like I probably went too big with the medium. I probably should have got a small because it's just not sitting as like nicely as what Jisoo's wearing. Also, probably because it's not real Versace, this one. This one is definitely a rip-off version. I think the real Versace was like, I don't know, three and a half grand or something like that. I don't got that kind of money to spend on a dress. So we'll just stick with this rip-off K-pop fashion. It has all these like fake Versace embellishments on it. It just looks very, very different because I've got the sizing wrong. Just let's just let's just picture it like a little bit tighter. Can you see my underwear? Oh my gosh. What why is this slit so high? Yeah but like my thigh and my underwear is like the same. It's like right where my underwear is. I think if the skirt was like that it would be nice but on me it kind of just wants to go into the center. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just like hey guys and then there's one random safety pin just, just hanging here. If it was a little bit tighter, it would look better. But that just means this slit really comes up to like my underwear. You know what I mean? You want a bit spicy. Overall, not a great dress because it doesn't fit me, but the material actually feels quite nice. It's like quite sturdy and it has a double zip. We're going a little bit more casual here. This is like a lace knit top that is worn by Leah from Itzy. I feel like I've seen this sort of style top everywhere online, but yeah, it is worn by a K-pop artist and I thought I'd get like a pair of jeans to go with it. These ones are really cute. So Leah does wear these jeans. It's got like little cherries on it. Like look how cute that is. So they're just embroidered on and it's only on one side. So the back, you're all business. At the front, you're all like party. Party with cherries? Who parties with cherries? It's just so long. <gasps> okay, so the jeans, super cute. Just too long for me. So I'm gonna just roll them up a little bit. I look so young in this. I'm like, yeah, I'm 17. So the little cherries, I feel like I have less cherries on my jeans than what she has. Like Leah has more little ones scattered everywhere. And her denim is like a little bit more of like a lighter wash. Oh my camel toe. <laughs> I need to stand like this. I just need to stand like a dude. So, uh, I don't know why, but when I wear jeans, why do I always get this like massive camel toe thing happening where her one's just like, what camel toe? What? Why does that happen? Why do jeans, like some jeans give me camel toes and some don't? Like why? What is it? The placement of the zip? What is it? But anyway, it's like normal at the back and then, oh, look at them cherries at the front. <laughs> now this purple knit top, very, very comfortable. I feel like this is probably something you could find at H&M or like Forever 21. Does that still exist? It's like one of those basic tops that I feel like a lot of mainstream brands would carry. There's actually no buttons to this. I oh, know there is. LOL, I, I totally lied as I flipped it and saw buttons. Oh, I guess mine just came buttoned up so I didn't have to button it. But you can unbutton it more if you want. I'm probably not going to touch these buttons because they look very, very fragile. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna yank any of these buttons out. Nice top. It's um, it's something that I would wear again. It's very casual, very, very comfortable. And I like the colour. I like purple. The jeans though. What do you guys think? Should I keep these jeans? Should I not? Are the cherries too much? Or actually, are the cherries taking away from the camel toe? Because if they are, 
maybe the camel toi is not gonna be an issue. Ooh, you Put your thighs, put your thighs. not shy now as you guys know most k-pop stars know how to dance and what do they wear during dance practice well i have the exact outfit so this is worn by rose and it's like a three piece set okay this is like the top i don't know it's it's got one i can't call it a jumper is it a jumper it's like one arm of a jumper and it's cropped as well so that kind of goes on top and then underneath there's this crop top or like a sports bra well it's, I, I'm, it's a it's a crop top it's not going to provide me any support like it's very very cheap so there's that and the bottoms this is like a sort of like cargo pants in black and it's got like that um, elastic that tightens the leg at the bottom it's a bit baggy there's like pockets like you know cargo pants they have all these pockets everywhere the back i don't know if you guys can see it we'll just dance in them hey this is like a look am i doing it am i doing that roll thing you just wave and just oh. stay in the middle <laughs> Silence. Oh, guys, I'm actually really feeling this outfit. I look like legit. I am going to a dance class and feel like maybe not dance like that. But the black cargo pants, I'm really digging. They're really, really comfortable. They fit perfectly around my waist, and I feel like the length is good as well because it's got that elastic. So then, you know, with my my Adidas, it looks. It's quite nice. Let's put the... Oops. <laughs> Let's put the half jumper on now. Because, you know, when you're dancing, you do these sick moves. You need some movement to make it more dramatic. Okay, so clearly it's not really going to keep me warm on a winter's day. But it adds a little bit of, like, swagger. So, Rose, she wears this. And I think she's, like, practicing for how you like that. Once again, I'm playing all members, guys. I'm like, you, you're gonna see it all here. I'm gonna channel my inner black pink. So, let's go. Pull the rope, pull the rope. Pull that rope. Which way am I pulling it? I can't do that. How does she do that? Oh, my, neck, my back. All this friction is making me itchy and sweaty. <laughs> oh, I'm so sweaty. That was a that was a great dance practice, guys. Alrighty, this top, guys. Look at that. This is definitely more of like a stage outfit. Worn by Lisa. I feel like Lisa from Blackpink. She can pull off some pretty edgy punk rock i don't know this is like a crop top with a very very out there flaming hot print and there's gloves with it so i thought that was really interesting i think it'll be a, like really fun to try this on look at you now look at me look at you now look at me i feel like i'm gonna go on my motorbike and like jump through flames or something you know what i mean that, that's the vibe i'm getting okay guys lisa wore this for a stage performance and I'm already like so sweaty after all that dancing but this is a badass top okay this one looks like literally it looks like fire get it because there's fire on it would I wear this again not for a casual look but I think if like 
if there was some sort of dance party I could probably like be there with my glow sticks in this like crop top and the glove thing you do Look at you, now look at me. But okay, if you're not feeling the gloves, you can actually take your hand out of it, I think. There's a slit here. If you're not feeling it, you can take it out. So this is actually quite smart because if you're going to the toilet, how else will you remove it? You gotta remove your whole top when you wash your hands outside. I feel like I'm like a skier. You know, <laughs> they have the mittens like this. I actually really like this top, I don't know, I just feel like, I just suddenly feel like, an, like a badass chick, you know what I mean? Like it just made this new side of Tina come out and I just feel really cool in it. So I, I'm gonna keep this top, I'm going to wait until the day that I can find somewhere to wear this to. I'll definitely have to post about it. Guys, I'm so sweaty, can you see? Is that dewy glowy skin? No, it is sweat bubbles. Next up we have this tweed jacket. And this is worn by Jenny from Blackpink. Um, she wore it on stage, I believe. It reminds me of like Chanel, you know, it just has that sophisticated feel and look to it. It's very elegant and it's a crop style. I also got the matching shorts to go with it. I mean, it looks really like high quality, but I don't know, this like tweed material thing, it's like really itchy. For the jacket, there's even like a little ribbon you can pop at the front and that just kind of completes the look. Okay, so this outfit, I didn't really think it through because I didn't get a top for underneath. So I just got my like, my bandeau top underneath. But I think Jenny, she wears like maybe like a white button up, something with a collar, so she can actually pin that in the center where the collar is. But yeah, you kind of get the gist of this. It looks really elegant, but it feels so itchy. It feels like, if you're laying on fake grass, if you know what I mean, it's just got that plasticky feel to it. The tweed on this, it's like that shininess is like plastic, right? And so that's the part that's making me like really itchy. Mostly like in the shorts because the, sh the shorts are hemmed and it's kind of like flipped in so that tweed plasticky material is like rubbing against my thigh, which isn't too pleasant. But I actually really like the look of this set. You know, it's very Chanel. Very Chanel. I guess Chanel you wouldn't wear it like this, but you know, like just picture I have a top underneath. I think I would probably wear this with stockings so then I could feel a bit more comfortable so that the material's not rubbing against my bare skin. But yeah, it's something I'm gonna keep. I think it fits really nicely on me. I'm sure Jenny is actually wearing like a Chanel set, okay? I'm just the pleb version. If you guys can read this, it says, aside the grief. What does that even mean? This is a really cute set guys. I just realized that you can actually like close this up so there's like little hooks and you can just like hook it so if you want to wear it closed you can. I'll definitely keep this one. I think it'll be nice for like like autumn, maybe winter with really thick stockings on. I just fired it. Do you smell it? That's the, <laughs> so that's the move. Then I also got this other dress that Jenny wore. It's got this tweed material. It kind of looked like a two piece on the photo, but um, it's actually a one piece. So the turtle neck is actually attached to the dress. This one is like half good quality, half not. Like the turtle neck feels really nice and thick and sturdy. And then this tweed material, it feels, feels kind of thin, but there, there is lining underneath. Oh my god, I think I'm kind of stuck here. What? <laughs> That's how I was born. Oh. oh, I think my eyelashes just got stuck to your... Oh, so cute. Okay, I think this is like one of my favorites from this haul. It is really cute. It's like the perfect length dress. Like it hits just above the knee. 
and I guess if it was like cold, I feel very like warm up here. Underneath, I'll probably have to wear stockings or something because you know, when you wear a dress, there could be some breeze coming in. But yeah, I really like this. This is probably like another Chanel ripoff or something that Jenny actually wears the real designer one and they've just copied it like this. Also, I really like it with the boots. It just kind of makes it a little bit more, I guess a bit edgy. So it's not super feminine, it's not super girly. So there's a little bit of edge there. But you know, one thing that they could improve on, there's no pockets. We need some pockets. So much room that they could add pockets. I'm definitely gonna keep this. This is gonna stay in my wardrobe until maybe if I go back to Australia in winter time, I will wear this. I will wear this whole setup. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this K-pop fashion try-on haul. I think this is like one of my favorite ones because it's so fun. Just trying to emulate my favorite K-pop artists. Let me know how you think I went with the dancers. You can be honest, it is okay. I probably need to sign up to lessons. You know, we all gotta start somewhere. Now the clothes weren't like super high quality, but I don't think they were that bad either. Obviously, you know, if you want to go buy a Chanel set or a Versace dress, go for it. But if you are on a budget and you want the same look as your favorite K-pop idols, I think this website, Fashion Chingu, is pretty good because you can actually see what these stars wear. Like they'll have the photo, so it's pretty easy to search by. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here. I feel like I'm very expressive with these hands. <laughs> subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Look at you now. Look at me. Look at you. Just, no, just look at me. <laughs> Fire.